Good morning, good afternoon, and of course, good evening, traders from across the globe. Thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in to my 2502nd edition of Short Term Trading Live with Oscar Carboni. You can always find me at livewithoscar.com. So, traders, this video is filmed on Sunday afternoon for trading Sunday through Monday evening, December 12th, 2022. Remember that trading futures, options, stocks, ETFs, crypto, you name it, it's all risky. So never trade without stops and put those stops in first. All right, let's take a look at what's going on. So for this week, this is Fed week. Jerome Powell and the Fed will come out this week and do an interest rate hike. We're hoping that it's only 50 basis points, meaning that the Fed is starting to see some light at the end of the tunnel. If they do 75, boy, that changes the landscape of what we expect. But the charts seem to expect that the Fed will do a 50% rate hike, not a 50 basis point rate hike, not a 75. However, let's leave that to the Fed. For trading on Monday, we're looking at the Delhi Russell 2000 daily bar chart. You've seen this in many videos. I kind of showed this to you. 10 days ago or seven days ago, we called it the Wall Street's four-day money-making secret revealed. We showed you how once it gets above the 200, it hits that resistance for four days, like up here and here. And our chance was here that it should drop, and it did drop all the way down into what we like to call this F flag right here. And now we're in an Oscarism known as an F flag, which is bearish. There is the 50 ball moving average here that will challenge. But for now, Omni is bearish. There's a bearish F flag. And we are below the 200 ball moving average. So looking at Monday, we're short term traders for Monday. This looks bearish. Omni wants us to sell the rallies. Let's go look at the transportation average. Looks just about as ugly. You've got an um, Oscarism known as the F flag sitting here. We are well below the 200 ball moving average. Third, third failure, sorry about that kids. Third failure on the Dow Jones transportation average at the 200 bar moving average, All right? Failed when it hit the light blue average. Failed again when it hit the light blue average. Got above it, got really promising, and then down into an F flag. But this is Fed week, you never know. We'll take it one day at a time. So now that we've looked at the daily, let's go take a look at what the weekly is showing us. Now the weekly in that same chart, the transportation average, if you ask me, that's an ugly failure on Friday at the 50 ball moving average and the top of this resistance channel. What makes it ugly? Well, on Thursday, we were smartly above. Look here, let me blow it up for you. On Thursday, we were smartly above the channel and above the average. You see it right there? And looking good. Some kind of a, look, I could draw it up for you. Watch this. Some kind of a nice flag was building right here, right? You're going, oh, wow, look, this is getting bullish. You got something going on. And then Friday happens. I'll add Friday back in and negate that mess, right? Out the window goes that thought process. Drops below the average and gets back underneath or into the ugly channel. So I say that was a very ugly close for the weekly chart, the transportation average on Friday, just like I showed you then, not so good on the daily. And let's go back to that Russell, because the Russell doesn't look any better on the weekly. Stops cold at the 50 ball moving average and spends Friday negating everything that happened Monday through Thursday, settling below the average. Isn't that ugly? All right, so we are day traders, but we'll take that signal for the first two days this week at least. And then we can also look at something like this. We haven't looked at the E-mini S&P yet on the weekly. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Now, you've seen this chart in every video for the last, I don't know, 20, 30 videos because it's a weekly chart and each one of these bars takes a full week, like the others, to build. And we've recognized it has massive, ugly failures up here. Failure, drop. Failure, drop. Failure. And see the bar it leaves? 
then drop. Now look at that bar. It looks like this bar. And it looks like this bar. And it looks like that bar. <laughs> so we're not starting off happy on Sunday through Monday of this week, but we'll see what happens once the Fed does its dance. All right, so you've got that. Now let's just go back and remember that we are day traders and we do want to look at the daily, the daily bar on the Russell leads us to remember, or I, at least I beg you to remember, that we are in an F flag. We are dropping below the 50 ball moving average. We have dropped below the 200 ball moving average. That Wall Street, you know, four day money making secret really did pan out on the chart. So all of this is happening, but the Fed will see what they want to do. For, for trading on Sunday night through Monday, we will be selling rallies in E-mini S&P, NASDAQ, Russell, if we can get a fill. And I like the way the metals are looking and the euro these days, so keep your eyes on those. Traders, make sure you subscribe to these videos. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this information helps. And remember, stops are in. Emotions are out. Thank you, thank you for tuning in. Good luck trading. Join me at livewithoscar.com.